Hey guys, welcome to our antique house. Today we are going to show you a locking mechanism for our downstairs, the, the door to our basement. Yep. Uh, it was not working, so Russ decided to take it off and see if he could fix it, and it turns out that he did. But there's some really cool stuff, like this is just a cool piece, so we wanted to show you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to show it to you. So here we go. Let's, <laughs> let's show you the stuff. Okay, so this is the locking mechanism. As you can see, this is the part that actually goes into the door, and this is the part that's exposed. So that's the little, you know, when the doorknob turns, that's the thing that holds it. And the lock, which is down below. Right. Okay, so I was originally going to just replace this with another mechanism that we found today in an antique shop, but I figured I need to take it out just to make sure it matches up. But before I did that, I wanted to see if I could fix it, and I did. So pretty much you take the screw off, right? Here's the actual insignia of the, the, I would assume, locksmith that made it back in the day, which is pretty cool. And of course, every piece is stamped with a serial number, obviously, which is pretty cool. So this is what we have here. How cool is this? So pretty much what was happening is this was all set up, but this spring right here was actually behind this mechanism. So it pretty much, it looked like this when I took it out, right? So what would happen is, is the door would turn and it was pretty much sitting like this when it was on the door. So the doorknob would move and nothing would happen. You'd freely be able to spin and nothing would work. So you couldn't latch the door, right? But all I had to do is you set it up like this, but then take this piece of metal and just put it right here. And then it articulates the spring. And then the same thing, unfortunately I don't have the skeleton key for this door, but I'm going to hunt one down. Pretty much you put your key in and then you turn it and then you press this mechanism up, which then pushes this up and then you're able to slide, see how it moves it up? I'm not gonna do it right now because it takes a lot of pressure. And then you'll be able to slide your locking mechanism out. And ultimately lock the door. And ultimately lock the door. And I fixed it and just saved us over $10 just because of this little piece of metal right here. Yep. How cool is that? I love it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.